Welcome everyone and what a game we have for you tonight as we get set to bring you NBA action on 2K Sports. With David Aldridge on our sideline and here with me Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. DA, take it away. Thank you very much. Guys, as always, the Heat have some scrappers on their team. Kyle Lowry says, nobody's like, I have to do this or it has to be this certain way. Jobs can be switched, positions can be flipped. No matter what, just go out there and play hard. We figure it out. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, they're smart enough to do that, and it's all about the results as always. Thank you, DA. You know, Greg, when you look at these rosters, both teams have lots of quality players and very deep benches. And with the pace we see in games, it really helps to have more legs to run. Each of these coaches have a lot of options, so it'll be interesting to see how they play the matchups. Here are the five for the Raptors. The forwards are Barnes and Siakam. Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. And it's Brittle in at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. And for Miami, the wing set for him, Hero and Butler. Bam Adebayo is out there with Kevin Love. And it's Lowry in at the point guard position. Now, Hero and Adebayo throws it down. Some shooters get tunnel vision. But Tyler, keeping his eyes up and his options open, delivers a great pass. Bounce pass from Trent. Tries it from nine. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Trent. A lost art in this game. Terrific bounce pass. The Raptors are only a few years removed from its championship in 2019. Boy, a lot has changed since then. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for Toronto. They're coming off that win against the Nets. I, I like their aggressiveness here in that one. No one's going to give you anything. You've got to go out and take it. Majority of the night, they were in attack mode. Tremendous effort all the way around. And Adebayo throws it down. Ferocious finish. Bam's natural strength is next level. A lot of change. Toronto is without some of the key pieces from that title team, and it wasn't that long ago. But, Greg, they haven't had to go through a full rebuild. There are some remaining parts. Listen, the talent they have is still undeniable, and they've got a good mix of young up-and-comers and players in the prime of their career. Here's Lowry. Gary Trent Jr. making his last shot. And here is Pirtle. His last outing, he had eight points. Here's Siakam. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Physicality is no problem for Siakam. He pushes off the contact and gets it to go. Adebayo kicks to Hero. Love wide open. He fires. No good on the triple. Toronto, they've gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his first foul. First and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Heat on D. Four-point game. And when you look at Pascal Siakam, he has only gotten better. Yes, G.A. having his best season the last three years, averaging over 20 points, and he's a rebounding machine. And he knocks down the first one. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half-court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. Now here's Butler. His last outing, he had 18 points. Love to see Jimmy get aggressive on the slam. Blitzing his way to the rim. Here's the 
Here's Barnes. And he uses the glass on the layup. And for Siakam, Greg, he almost epitomizes the modern forward. And that's not to say he's the best forward, but he displays all the skills you now expect from that position. Solid player who any team would love to have. Well, they're past to Lowry. Three-pointers off the mark. Here's Toronto now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Here's Trent. And the dunk to finish it off. Ah, oh, beauty. As a distributor, Fred Van Vliet is so effective. He knows when and where to feed his guys. Here's Hero. Good D by Barnes. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Trent kicks to Pirtle. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. in for the Heat. Yurt Zavini's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Kayla Martin comes in for Kevin Love. Victor Oladipo, he's checked in for Hero. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. Then for the Raptors, Achua, he's checked in for Perk. Young comes in for Pascal Siakam. And Adenobi subbed in for Trent. A solid all-around player, Jimmy Butler, understands the importance of sharing the ball with open guys. On and Obi, good. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Oladipo, the pass to Butler. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll... shoot two here. It's on Thaddeus Young. Steve Jimmy Butler is definitely a defensive difference maker. He is, Kevin. Back in the 2021 season, Butler led the league in steals. He is so committed to forcing you to make mistakes with the ball. Free throw, good Butler. Well, he'll run through a wall to win, but sometimes Jimmy Butler can drive his coach up a wall. Despite that tendency, though, to embrace conflict, this guy is worth it. And the Raptors making a change here. Siakam's checked in. Now, here's Siakam. Coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Butler against Van Vliet. Yes, that goes in. Butler's got six. A joy to watch Butler with his ball handling. A lot of creativity. He's one of the most gifted players in the game. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. That one drops for him. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Here's Butler. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. The physical abilities of Jimmy Butler. Wow. Using his power and speed to make plays inside. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Vincent. That shot off. Good D by Barnes. Pass to Ananova. Young outside. Over Yurtsevin. And Young with the basket on the assist by Ananobi. And you have to credit Ananobi. He's put in the work to become a better playmaker. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. The Raptors lead by eight. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. 22. Fans. 
please give a big round of applause. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Raptors. Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point. Doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And another key for them tonight, attacking the basket. Taking it right to the hoop. Never a bad idea. So on the floor for Toronto to start this second quarter. Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. Achua is out there with OG Ananobi. Raptors leading by 10. Trent with it. Picked up by Hero. Here's Van Vliet. Again, Toronto. And at this point of the season, Greg, many coaches still are maneuvering their lineups, trying to find the right formula. Yeah, especially the younger team. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. Now, here's Ananobi. After Tyler Hero's miss. The rebound by Kevin Love. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Heat. This, their first look at this year's Toronto squad. And we saw how competitive and entertaining the season series was between these two terrific teams last year. And it only promises to get better coming into this season. These two squads are very evenly matched, and each game between them should be a blast to watch. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Hero against Trent. For three, Love. They get it back. Raptors leading by 14. On the wing, Ananobi. And a missed late. Ian is auto. become more consistent in Miami than ever. Jimmy Butler was acquired, made it all the way to the finals in his first year, and have steadily won games each season. Now Van Vliet following the miss by Kyle Lowry from deep. Shoots over Hero. Count that one from Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got eight points. A good shooter who can operate at different speed. Love when Fred is knocking down that mid-range jumper. Time out, time and with out. the Heat, uh, GA, they've been a consistent force in the Eastern Conference. Kevin, lots of talent up and down that roster from stars like Butler and all the way down to the role players. This is just a solid team. Timeout called the Heat. A different look for Miami. Yurt Zabini's checked in for Love. And it's Victor Oladipo in for Hero. The Raptors also with a sub. Siakam's checked in. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And stolen by Achua. Over Martin. The shot's good from Achua. Achua's got his first bucket of the night. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Oladipo. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Bounce pass at Chua. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Now, here's Ananobi. They lead by 20. That's the most we've seen. Goes back up. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Good save. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And power. Bringing it home. He ends a 12-0 run by the Raptors. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. Here's Oladipo. Gary Trent Jr. making his last shot. Oladipo finds Yurtsevich. 
And when Oladipo makes passes like that, his team kicks into a whole new gear offensively. Pass to Achua. Back to Van Vliet. Over Lowry. Miami grabs the miss. There's 45 seconds left to play here in the half. Passes it to Yurtsevin. Here's the three. The shot by Lowry, no good. Toronto leading by 18. Trent kicks to Van Vliet. Over Oladipo. That's good from Van Vliet on the assist by Trent. Trent's got four assists now tonight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Adebayo with the bucket. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. Trent, right side. And that one, good. Trent's got 12. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. A dominating first half of basketball. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Hello, everybody. Before getting into the first half recap, let's check in on the injured players around the NBA. The Magic facing some injury concerns. And now switching gears to our featured game, a phenomenal first half for the Raptors. And it wasn't one guy on this. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Fred Van Vliet has been sensational. There's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Yeah, in the first half, he took on the role of playmaker. I think it surprised the defense a little bit. Gave this offense a different dimension. At the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. Jimmy Butler is out there with Kevin Love, and it's Autobio in at the five down low. So that's who Eric Spolstra starts the second half with. Greg, when you look at Toronto, they have a lot of length and defensive switchability. They swarm opposing stars and tend to make it very difficult in those passing lanes. So a great profile for a modern NBA defense. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And Scotty Barnes, the rookie of the year in 2022 in the NBA. And you could argue he was maybe the biggest surprise of the 21 draft. Made a huge impact on the floor immediately. If you did a redraft of that class, he'd be closer to the top. Here's Siakam. That falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got six assists now in the game. And uh, Miami shooting around 40% from the floor here. Right wing. Butler feeling it out a bit. Inside. And Adebayo throws it down. A dangerous pick and roll partner. Adebayo's a high level athlete with great size. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. It's Eastern time. Open fans. Time to get on your feet and make some noise for your Miami. And Miami making a change here. Vincent's checked in. The Raptors also with a sub. Chris Boucher's checked in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Toronto. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Only their first turnover of the game. Taking terrific care of the basketball. Outside Butler. Good ball movement here by Miami. That one goes. Counting. Butler's got 10 points in the game. 
That's three of four here to start the half. Van Vliet kicks to Trent. Shoots over Hero. Trent can't hit. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. And Love has it in the corner. Off target from three-point range. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Nice shot by Pirtle. You know, Greg, you played on some gritty teams, and we hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth, and it's not usually literal. But what's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the court? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out muscling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of checked out mentally. And I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sport. The kick out to Barnes. Back to Van Vliet. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. 14 points for him. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Outside Butler. There's Hero with the three. Rebound by the Raptors. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Let's it go from deep. Boucher with the rebound. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. Shoots it. And again, it's Toronto converting. Nothing better than a hustle play like that. It gets the whole team amped up. Sets the example for everyone. Now a timeout called by Miami. You know what time it is, you Make some more for your heat. And some changes here for the Heat. Yurtsevini's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Caleb Martin comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Oladipo in for Hero. Then for the Raptors, Achua, he's checked in for Jakob Pertl. OG Ananobi comes in for Gary Trent. And Flynn subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And of course, one of the league's longest tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolster. And he's having a Hall of Fame level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian American head coach in any of the four major North American sports league. And worked his way up from video coordinator. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. The Heat have gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Nice move. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a deep roster for the Raptors. But Smitty, do they have the star power, the star talent, to win big. Well, they have Scotty Barnes. He was last season's Rookie of the Year. His growth will be key. But with Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam, all-star caliber players, Toronto's not shy on talent, Kevin. The first free throw is good. He's not like a lot of superstars. Jimmy Butler will call you out if you're on his team. All he wants to do is win. The Heat making a switch here. Lowry's checked in. Here's Achua. It's hauled in by the Heat. Outside, Martin. And Oladipo has it in the corner. No good from outside. Toronto leading by 23. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Ananobi passes to Barnes. The shot from the low post is good. Barnes has got five points now this quarter. Love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Three-pointer. Barnes can't get it to go. Butler up top. In the corner, it's Martin. What length from Scotty Barnes, a tough defender. And so it's Toronto in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll return shortly. Fans, please give a big round of applause. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? 
and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Very unselfish. If you appreciate teamwork, this is the kind of play that will get you up out of your seat. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters on the court for Toronto to start the fourth. The forwards are Barnes and Siakam. And Van Vliet out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Pirtle in at the five spot. Here's Ananobi. And the rebound goes to Martin. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Hero finds Martin. And there's a whistle that goes on Scotty Barnes. That's his first foul. Steve, you played all four years at Michigan State. When you think about the fun you had there, what was more enjoyable, playing college basketball or in the pros? Kevin, I have to be honest, both was fantastic. When in college those four years was something I'll never forget. But then obviously, ultimately, you want to make it to the NBA, and I got a chance to do that. So. Both were fantastic in my eyes. I'm so impressed with the strength of Gary Trent Jr. Excellent at staying in control of his shot. Stolen by Van Vliet. Fast break Toronto. Van Vliet with the ball. Here's Siakam. Barnes trying to free himself up. And Siakam with the basket on the assist from Van Vliet. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Raptors. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands, causing a lot of steals. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. Greg, we know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. I guess always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls you might expect. Also how you communicate with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players. And finished off by Martin. Sky high. One of his advantages as an undersized four. Raptors leading by 23. Here's Trent. And the rebound goes to Martin. For Miami, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. A nice shot by Zeller. Zeller's got his first basket of the night. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. And it's Trent in the corner. Here's Benton. Count it good. Gary Trent Jr., his teammate, was so open, he could have passed it with his eyes closed. And the Heat call time here. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Autobio is checked in for Zeller. Love comes in for Caleb Martin. Jimmy Butler is checked in for Robinson. And it's Oladipo in for Max Cruz. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. To the inside. And he banks in the layup. And loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Effort's been there. Check mark. The physicality. Check mark. They set the tone for this game early on. Back by great length. I call Young a reliable interior scoring option. There's the three. The shot off that time. And Toronto will come the other way. 1.30 left in the game. 
Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for Toronto. Look at their number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball movement. And every win important in this one will go down is win number three. And against a that conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Fred Van Vliet. And how many times throughout the course of the evening did he make a momentum-changing play? I thought his relentlessness really keyed their success. The assist. and, and it's just competing. You, you know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Count it. A tireless worker. You don't have to call plays for Adebayo for him to score. And it's Barnes with the ball for Toronto. Young against Love. No good. And it's Miami the other way. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Butler. That shot off the mark. Good defensive work there by Young. Trent finds Barnes. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. Substitution on the court. Outside Butler, and so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Hey, you know what? Shock. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll do it, folks. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. And now, our New Balance Player of the Game, Fred Vance.